Oh, the tale of woe where love takes a dive, a man's misfortune struggling to survive. With a fractured spine and leg in pain, his girlfriend's care was clearly in vain. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, abandoned by my girlfriend after I got hit by her motorcycle. So stay to the end for the full rhyme and verse on it all. This is a quickie, so let's just begin the journey immediately. I'm a 31-year-old guy who recently had a terrifying experience. While walking down the street, I was suddenly struck by a motorcycle. The impact left me with severe injuries, a fractured spine, along with damage to my leg and back. It was the kind of accident that leaves you shaken in pain and desperately in need of support. Now, I've been dating this 25-year-old woman for about a year. We were not just casual. We were in a committed relationship. So naturally, when I got hurt, I expected her to be there for me. But what happened next left me more hurt emotionally than I was physically. For two whole weeks after my accident, she didn't come to see me. Not once, but my place was only a 20 minute drive from hers, but she couldn't find the time to check on her boyfriend with a broken back. Instead, she carried on with her life as nothing happened. She went to her beach volleyball games and enjoyed nights out drinking with her coworkers. All the while, I was laid up at home struggling with my injuries. Okay, this poor guy. So obviously was way more invested in this relationship than she is. And I have to wonder if it was him who moved the relationship to the committed stage and not her. Guys, Never be the one who asks to move the relationship to the next level. Enjoy your time with her and let her be the one to seek your commitment, not the other way around. Otherwise, you could end up like this poor brother. Right now, he's learning a hard truth. She is never yours. It's just your turn. The kicker, when I finally managed to drive over to her place, despite my broken back, she turned me away. Wouldn't even let me come in for the night. It was like my pain meant nothing to her. Slap to the back of the head. Dude, her actions made it very clear where you stood. But like a nice guy, you had to go over there and by your actions, not words, beg for her attention. My brother, it's over. Her concerning lack of empathy and support during a time when you were seriously injured with a fractured spine, which is a significant injury by the way, requires care and support from loved ones. That ain't her. I know this shit hurts and I'm sorry. Time to kick her to the curb with prejudice. Go no contact and never take her back. What makes this even harder to swallow is that early in our relationship when we'd only known each other for a couple of months, she had a minor medical issue I stayed with her overnight in the hospital without hesitation. That's just what you do for someone you care about, right? Oh yeah, you are definitely a nice guy. The guy who women love to shit on 
because they perceive you as weak. In answering your question in a normal, functional relationship, yes, it is what a man who loves and protects his woman does. I'm shocked and deeply hurt by her behavior. It feels like a betrayal, like she doesn't value me or our relationship. But here's the thing that's really messing with my head. She thinks her actions are completely justified. Oh yeah, I bet she does. Am I missing something here? Is there some angle to the situation that I'm not seeing? Because from where I'm sitting, with all my still healing injuries and my battered heart, it feels like I've just gotten a harsh wake-up call about the person I thought cared about me. What do you think about all this? Buddy, she is completely narcissistic. At worst, or at best, she's a woman with a serious avoidant attachment style. Either way, move on, heal, and go live a good life. When you heal, do a deep dive in personal inventory as to why you were attracted to her in the first place, so you don't repeat the same outcome next time. And now, my rhyme and verse take. Oh, the tale of woe where love takes a dive a man's misfortune struggling to survive. With a fractured spine and leg in pain, his girlfriend's care was clearly in vain. For two whole weeks, not a visit in sight, she partied and played through the day and night. Beach volleyball games and nights of cheer, while he lay in bed shedding a tear. He drove to her place despite his sore back. She turned him away, empathy lacked. Now here's the advice, as sharp as a knife. End this relationship, reclaim your life. In the comments section below, give me your thoughts or take a moment to tell me where you hail from. If you and the 79.1% of men and the 20.9% of women who found value in this channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab, and subscribe. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, and ensuring you live a life of purpose, passion, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you.